Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Final Fantasy Legend! Let's continue on to the library to find out how to save the world! Or, well, this world. A world. Whatever. Suppose we gotta take our motorcycle to the library. Well, that's not something you see every day, huh? Yeah, I suppose it's better than, you know, going to an amusement park to find my most powerful attack in the game. Darn that, Suzaku! Uh, fortunately, I was able to run relatively quickly, so... Good job. We gotta search all these bookshelves? I, I don't think so. Screw that. Let's just step on this tile here. Yeah, the game's gonna search automatically for us, so... Yay! Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got to go to Akiba, 14 to the east and 15 to the north. So that's from the position of the library. So that's where we got to go to next. Got to find Akiba and this hidden treasure. This bookshelf contains the stone book, which will allow us to get our enemy's stone. So I'm going to equip that on my mutant there. I'm going to have to get rid of one of my pieces of armor, unfortunately, but it's not that big of a deal. It won't be for long, so... I'm going to take care of that and then meet you back outside. Okay, we made it outside. So, um, just so you know what I did with my mutant there, uh, I replaced the giant gauntlets with the stone book. So now I have an excellent uh, single targeting attack, multi-targeting attack. Stone will work on just about anybody, but I'm going to really try to conserve them. Um, I would only save them if you run into like a really large group of enemies where... Well, let's say you don't have Psychic Blast, so that'll really help me out with saving on stone. But let's say you didn't have that. You only have, like, Gas or Ice, Thunder. You know, something you can only target one group at a time. But it's not going to quite get the job done. So you'd use, say, a Stone Book. Like, let's say on a group of some knights or something where you know they're going to be able to evade your physical attacks pretty well. So you use stone on them, that bypasses that. Stone will work on almost anybody, it, even more enemies than death itself. So that's really nice, and Psychic Sword will be primarily for single targeting, like bosses and things like that. So we want both of those, and it also allows me to clear some inventory space. Uh, Silver Helmet's a little better than the Giant Gauntlet on defense there. And yeah, I just ditched the Giant Gauntlets because we're going to find some more treasure. Now, the village of Akiba is hidden on the map. You can't actually see it, so you just gotta go to that location. So let's head on over there with our bike. Come on, Suzaku! Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I suppose I could just head straight north now. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, let's take a look at this place. Just ride my motorcycle right in the buildings. Absolutely. And we get a revive. That'll be worth some good money. Nothing else in there. There's a treasure in each building. Uh, look out for a monster called Lamia. We want her meat. Sounds vulgar. Get an X potion. Awesome. Probably have to dump it. Oh, there's nothing up there, so let's head south. Is this the building I'm looking for? What am I looking for here, anyway? We get a Cat Craw? Oh, no, no, that's supposed to be Cat Claw. Let's give that to Tifa now. Yeah, we won't run out of uh, durability counters on that thing, or whatever. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could have just taken my motorcycle in there. Eh. Why am I reminded of that scene in Terminator 2 where the T-1000 drives his motorcycle up the stairs there? Eh. And we get a ROM? Well, what ROM is that? Well, I guess we'll have to take that back to Socho and figure it out. So, as long as we're around here, let's check out that Amayoko town. It's got to be close by. We're in the northeastern corner of the world, so. Oh, you know what? I need to meet up with the Lamia around here. Let's take care of that first. Ha-ha! Found her at last! That didn't take me too long at all. 
Well, this time, I'm going to have your meat, Lamia. Yeah, take that. Feel the power of Zoro's gun. That should get her. Yes, and we got her meat. Let's give that to Isis. Uh, sorry, Chimera, but your HP just isn't cutting it. And Isis transforms into Iron Man. And let's see. Nothing bad happened to my mutant. All right. In fact, the strength went up a little. Excellent. Gained a little more HP while I was fighting some randoms there. And Iron Man. All right. One of my favorite monsters in the game, actually. Uh, until, you know, well, for now, that is. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's got protection from damage, which protects you from fire, ice, lightning, poison. Protection from change. Protects you from stone. Um, what are the other two? Weapon and uh, para. So the only thing you don't have immunity to is uh, quake, which I don't know if any enemies use quake on you. Or if they do, it can't be that many. So yeah, we want Iron Man in the front lines now. And switch those two around too. Oh, we still got all three of our hearts. Very excellent. Like the sprite that we got in our lead character now. All right, well, let's check out Amayoko then. Where could that village be? Oh, there it is. That was easy. <laughs> we were right there. Oh, these monsters don't want to talk to us. Well, okay, fine then. Let's see what they sell here. What do I want to get anyway? Yeah, there's a few things we want to get. Uh, not here yet. And I'm going to hold off on increasing my HP for Tifa for now. We'll get that eventually. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this is the weapon shop. We want to buy some things here, but, uh, you know, I gotta sell some stuff, so I'll off-screen that real quick and be right back. Okay, I've already made all the purchases that we needed to do, so let's take a look at them real quick. Got a dragon sword. Dragon sword! No, not dragon sword. Dragon sword. We're not that lucky. <laughs> Actually, the dragon sword is pretty good in this game. It can get critical hits to kill not just dragons, but any lizard-type enemy in a single hit. Uh, it only works on one at a time, unfortunately, like any melee weapon, but it's also just flat out the most powerful melee weapon we can have at this point in the game. So I felt I should get some of those since we're not going to be finding anything better in the near future. Uh, don't care about any of the other weapons. Oh, Hyper, uh, that does not cost three million gold. No, you, you have three of them and it costs 100,000 gold. It basically wipes out every enemy on the map. Uh, way too expensive for what we want, but it's there. It's a cannon or something like that. I also wanted to purchase a pair of Gata shoes so that um, it boosts your strength by 10, and it gives you a little bit of a defense boost too. It's a completely different uh, type of armor. So I wanted to get a pair of those for Tifa there. So now we have that there and Dragon Sword. So. We're all set and ready to go. Let's see what else they sell here. Man, our party's looking pretty good now. Mutants top notch. Got some uh, good weaponry for my human there. Got top notch monsters like Iron Man. It's just as good as the movie too. I liked Iron Man. I liked it even better than uh, The Dark Knight that year. I don't know, maybe it was just because I had higher expectations for the Dark Knight and Iron Man while well, I waited it I waited until it, you know, appeared at my local two dollar movie theater. Oh, here's that rundown shop. Haha -ha! And from this guy we get a board. Now do we need the ROM and the board, or did we give him the ROM and it stayed in our inventory for some reason? I'll never know. Whatever. Anyway, we gotta get back to the first village we were at. Uh, I don't think it has a name, does it? It's just Southwest Town or something like that. So we got a faster way of getting back there. So let's do that then. See, there's that. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get my bike back. There we go. Got a new secret passage back home. Okay, well, let's show off my new monsters. I probably won't be able to make it all the way back, but that's okay. Actually, you know what? Let's put stone to use, because this is the kind of guy that I would I would want to use stone on. 
Ow. Nah, I suppose I shouldn't have used gas, but... We got robot stone. <laughs> there we go. Uh, left. Yeah, there we go. Ah, here we are. We're back at the library. Well, you guys can figure out how to get your way back home. What will we do with the board to defeat Suzaku? Whack him upside the head with it? Find out next time on Let's Play The Final Fantasy Legend! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!